Good morning, y'all. It is Monday. Monday. I'm always confused on my days of the week, but it's Monday and we are sitting outside Home Goods. They open in 10 minutes, and since we have some time to kill, we decided that we would uh, just kind of run in there and see what they had today. Um, so I'll let you all know if I find something good. This Home Goods always has the good stuff. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find something. Whether or not I need it or not is the question. Say hello, Ariel. Hi. So, yeah. I'll, I'll keep y'all posted. All right. Hey, so I just got home from visiting the family. It's like Tuesday. So, I just got back to the house and there was some deliveries, of course. So I am going to open those um, and show you all what I bought. Also, when I was out there, as I said in my last video, I did go to Home Goods. So I'll show you what. Sorry, guys. Y'all know I'm nosy. Okay, so I'll show you guys what I got at Home Goods as well. So hold on, let me prop you up. All right, so. This is what I got at Home Goods. It was not a lot of stuff, I promise. But um, I got this little stepping stool for the bathroom because Kavi's struggling to wash his hands in the bathroom. And then he'll use the bathroom. You got to come in there. You got to pick him up. You got to hold him up on the sink so he can wash his hands. So figured I would just get him a stepping stool so it makes it a little bit easier for him and he's not like struggling as much. So this was only $7.99. So I got one of these is gray and white to match the bathroom. So my youngest is gonna be going off to college soon. So I, when I see stuff that can benefit her in her dorm room, I just try to grab it um, because I mean, she's gonna need these things. So in a couple months, she's gonna be living on campus. So I got this for her desk, just like a little compartment thing to put like her pencils or like notepads or little stuff like that. Cause of course you already know I'm going to be decorating. And this was uh, $7. It was on clearance for seven bucks. It was uh, originally $12.99. So, and then I got these two little um, things as well for her desk. They were originally, I don't know, because the red sticker is over them but they are two bucks. So also for her desk or in the bathroom, put little stuff in, little jewelry thing or whatever. But couldn't pass them up because they were on clearance and she needs them for her dorm. So also I got a shaker for my um, bar cart because, so a couple of the Bartesian drinks call for you to shake them after you make them. Had no idea, so I ended up having to get one. And I just got a basic one, um, nothing too fancy, and it was 10 bucks. So, very basic, just to kind of shake it up because that's what it, it calls for me to do. Then I got these two jewelry holders for the master closet because that's what we're going to be talking about today master closet all right so i got two of these for jewelry watches things like that as you can see the detail and they were i want to say 12.99 12.99 each so and then i bought this really nice wicker basket um, it's very sturdy. They came in multiple different sizes, but this one I felt like would work best for me. And it was 30 bucks. This is just for some throw blankets to put in the master bedroom. I have like multiple like grays and I think I have a black one too. Well, either way, um, because I have several throw blankets that I want and I keep in the room. And uh, because first of all, we're going to have a seating area in there. Plus, sometimes when I'm just sitting on the bed, instead of messing up the bed, I just like to kind of throw a throw blanket on me if I'm cold. So I end up getting this to put them in. So let me show y'all what I bought from Walmart. <laughs> okay, so 
I, I think in my mind that I am Bob the Builder, okay? I feel like I can do a lot of stuff. So, I have been talking to Dante. Got to get y'all the story first. I've been talking to Dante about building a console table. I have been talking to him about building a, a, um, a coffee table for the loft upstairs. I have been talking to him about building a TV stand, like just a nice, simple TV stand. Then I was talking to him. He just, he'll be paying me no attention, just so you know. Then I was talking to him about like how hard it is for me to find the pieces of the pack system at Ikea, like because they sell out so quickly. So as soon as I get there, they don't have any of the stuff that I really need, or they'll have one piece of this, but not a piece of that. So I was like, we could just build a closet. We could just build the master closet, save some money and build it. So then I saw Glamorous Wallflower building a bed. She had never even used her tools, but she built it. And I was like, I also saw this Georgia Clay. Her and Matt, Brittany and Matt built a council table. And I was like, that's me. That is me. That is me. That is me. So I went on walmart.com, bought me some tools. Let me show you. This is a Craig Jig R3 and it is for pocket holes. Tina Lee had one too. And I was like, she also self-taught. Just so you know. Okay, so what is this? Oh, this is a battery to charge my tools. No, this is just a battery. Wait a minute, did I not get a charger? That sucks. All right, so, oh, yes, I did. Wait, wait, wait. All in one. Okay, so I got a circular saw. And it looks like it comes, no. Oh, it does include a battery and a fast charger. Didn't even know that. I thought I had to buy one. So now I got two batteries. I got a circular saw. And, oh gosh, this heavy. I got a compound meter saw. Whoops, oh, upside down. <laughs> That's all I got. But, you feel me? So, let me show y'all the closet. Before we go upstairs, I'll never show y'all this front room, like this um, office space, because this is where things come until I have a place for them. <laughs> when I tell you this room look a hot mess, I'm just waiting on my furniture and I got so many things that is going on that I just jump around from room to room because furniture is on back order. I had to call again today about my furniture delivery and they done gave me another day. So I don't know. But anyway, let's just go upstairs and see this closet. Okay, so this is the master closet. This is just my stuff. Dante's stuff is not even in here. He has nothing here. This is just my stuff. That's my summer clothes that has not even been taken out of the box. This is all my stuff. Okay? This ain't gonna work. So, this is my next project. And when I tell you, this is not even all of my stuff. I still got clothes at the other house hanging in the closet that I need to figure out. So my next project is to take all of this stuff out of here, 
put it in Dante's man cave because it's the only room that has absolutely nothing in it and remove all of this shelving. Patch up the walls and start planning out my, well, I'm already started to plan out my closet. So, so yeah, so I'm going to take all of this stuff out of here and start redoing this closet. I already know what I want. I already know pretty much what I, how I want it. It's just a few little details that I'm still working out. But I'm going to build this closet on my days off. Um, I work the next couple of days, but on Saturday, by Saturday, this closet is going to be completely empty. I would do it today, but my sister's on her way over and we're probably going to go to dinner. Then I'm going to be tired. But just watch. I'm going to get it done. Also, my stove is finally supposed to show up tomorrow. So hopefully it does. It's supposed to come tomorrow morning and I cannot wait to finally see it and show it to you guys. So I'm gonna go up downstairs and clean up some of that mess. <laughs> when you first open the door and um, figure out how I'm gonna charge. No, it came with a charger. Never mind. Start charging the batteries for my uh, electric um, meter and a compound saw so I can get started. All right, I'll be back, guys. All right, y'all. So it's like 1030 at night. My sister just left. And I still have some hours to kill before it is literally my bedtime because I work tomorrow night. So I try to stay up all night. Um, so I figured what better time than now <laughs> to start emptying out this closet. So that's what I'm going to do so I can stay woke. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, after about 300 trips, the closet is empty, okay? So, depending on how I feel tonight, I want to start taking these racks down. But either way, that's it for tonight. So I will pick this back up tomorrow when my stove comes. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and I am getting ready for work, but I wanted to show you all how much progress I made on the closet last night before I went to sleep. I completely gutted everything. So it is completely empty. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with these instead of just throwing them away, I think I'm gonna probably put them in a garage for storage like put them up on a wall and that way I can put like the Christmas decorations and like stuff like that out there. So yeah, um, now it's time for step two. And, and finally my new stove is here. I'm so excited. I'm literally super, super excited. Like, I couldn't get real excited when they came because I was, like, half asleep. And then I went right back to sleep because I knew I had to get up. But, but it is finally here. Let me show you. All right, so this is our new stove. It's the one that we upgraded to when we um, went to the design center. It has two ovens. Excuse the handprints. I have not had a chance to clean it since they brought it in. I, like I said, I went right back to bed. So, it has the center griddle. It is so nice. I am so in love with it. So, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out at this point. Um, so I guess I will see you all in my next vlog. Have a good week.